I win. <laughs> you are exactly what I'm telling you are now. Nothing you can do about it now, except deny it. But there's nothing you can do about it once you check it out, except deny it. But it doesn't change a thing, because every time somebody picks up a cell phone, you're going to realize exactly what I said and remember it. And I don't care. You lost. <laughs> or you got to quit using cell phones. Let's think of another one, based on the multi-universe theory. DVD. A DVD is sound and light recorded in a frequency put into a light wave. And when you put it in the little disc and put the top on it, it's a light, a laser beam, that reads it, then transforms it into electrical impulses, then separates based on frequency into two forms of transmission. The picture and the sound come from different different waves. The sound is one, one wave and the picture is another and puts it up on the television screen. Now, how does that happen and how many dimensions is it operating in in an electrical universe for you to watch Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Pretty interesting about reality now, huh? Dynamic, powerful, mighty spiritual beings, playful with dignity, direction, and purpose, huh? CD. Same, light on plastic. We look at a CD, it's a rainbow. What is that rainbow when you look at it? That's color. That means it produces heat. And the transmission of the laser moving across the disc only measures heat and temperature of that color, and that's the delivery transportation system of the audio on that CD. Not a spiritual being looking at it from that standpoint. You won't be using the CD anymore either. Because there's no way you're going to go, and no place you're going to go from, based on what I'm telling you to be true. So you get over it. And you don't have to die. You don't have to have open heart surgery. You don't have to do any of that. You just got to listen to me. And then go out and try it. Okay, so. Our biggest issue. Stress. Because what a spiritual being doesn't have any stress. They don't care. Just something to do today. Got myself in it, I'll get myself out of it. I'm responsible. But the mental, emotional, and physical self has a few little kinks. So the biggest issue in this transformational point in the changing face of time is the reduction of stress. Illness in the emotional, mental, and physical self starts with unresolved conflicts that create stress or the inability to be in control of events or the continuous repetition of a monotonous, mental, unfulfilling, unfulfilling spiritually of a mechanism that you do every day. Going to work. You know, why do dentists kill themselves? They have one place to be, one monotonous, always instilling fear, and pain in a person, and no way to create because they are on a certain budget. They got to get in and get out and get it done. And there's no real thanks except a pretty smile. And they kill themselves. So stress. Now, as a mental, spiritual being with emotions, we have to reduce stress. And what we also have to do is realize this. The core cause of illness after stress, which is called oxidative stress, which if oxidative stress, once the stress in, in, a, in what's called uh, free radicals in the body, if a free radical gets oxygenated, oxygenated, it turns into cancers and illnesses and everything else. So as spiritual beings, you must deal with this first. You must hydrate your body. You must absolutely, without any question, start today 
and paying attention to everything that you drink and what's in that that you're drinking and read the label and as pure a water as you can get into your system, you must do it. Now remember, in this end of time era, the commodity that will be the most precious commodity will be water. It won't be oil, it won't be anything but water. So as a spiritual being in this process of the change of time, you better make sure of your water source. Now if you think of the ocean, and this is a water planet, and you had a five gallon bucket and that was all the water in the ocean. And you wanted to look at all the fresh water that you were drinkable. In that five gallon bucket, that's one coffee cup of fresh water and most of it is in the Great Lakes in North America. And the drinkable water, unprocessed or treated, in the world, based on that five gallon bucket, is a teaspoonful. water. The greatest two causes of illness physically is dehydration which leads to inflammation which leads to everything else. So spiritually pay attention to the water you drink everybody. Don't rationalize to yourself. Don't mess around. You better find your pure water source or you better create a device that does that and you better drink your water because if you look at yourself from a spiritual point of view and that five percent of reality is all the physically there's only going to be physically five percent of reality that's physical then if you look at that your skin is eighty percent water your liver is ninety five percent water most of you know this your brain is seventy five percent water your teeth are 25% water. Your bones are 24% water. So all you are physically is basically a water treatment plant. <laughs> End of story. So if you hydrate, pay attention to it. And then stress. I believe there are programs that's going to come on this earth that deal with nutrition and stress. I believe that they're coming hard and fast. And I believe there are the ways that we're supposed to turn. I have a good friend, Mick Hall, and because I'm here, and I want the opportunity to you to hear a little bit of where these new centers that are going to come on the earth, which is probably where most of you will be employed in the next 10 or 12 years, you will migrate toward healthcare and one healing modality, or you wouldn't be sitting in here. Mine is hospice, Compassion and Action, the Twilight Brigade, and in the back are the most beautiful women in the world, and there are Twilight Brigaders. Could I, could I get my Twilight Brigaders to stand up? Take a look. Well, they won't do it because they don't want to be too famous. But mine is the Twilight Brigade. Because in order to be able to achieve these goals of caring, compassionate observation, you have to have a purpose and you have to have something that you're passionate about. My passion is no one need die alone. And they also, once that no one needs die alone, I don't care what you think of the other side, I just need you to know that it's there. And then you can do whatever you want to do. Because once you accept that, your whole world opens up to a whole new identity and life gets twice as much fun as it ever was knowing of what the opportunities for you to create that, uh, that world to be whatever rewards you wherever how you want to be rewarded. But I believe there are ways to experience all the things that I'm going through and I have been through in these multi-dimensions without ever having to die. And I believe so the work that Mick's doing and what's going on could contribute it. So what I'd like to do now is for you to take a deep breath. And I want to introduce Mick. And I want him to talk a little bit about what he believes in support of ending illness. So, yeah, because 
Listening to Daniel talk all day is not near.